Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with a pour today with the Montmartre pouring paints. So these are paints that are pre-mixed. You don't have to do anything to them. Um, so I'm going to use these colours because I've got lovely selection here and I'm going to use them to do a swipe with. So, is that what I'm going to do? No, actually, yeah. Oh, I think we'll just go with it. And I've just got another idea to do a diagonal, uh, a diagonal uh, flower band with some negative space. I just thought that might be a nice change. Previous canvas I scraped because I wasn't happy with it. So it's got the bit of black still on it. And I'll pour a bit more black over it. Or I might go navy, actually little bit um, less harsh and then I'm going to use these paints so without further ado um, as with the all of the materials I get uh, I get from an online supplier in Australia which is still pumping the supplies out like crazy and and you know that's really good for us guys because it they're delivered right to our door so we haven't got to go out searching well we can't go well we can if we we're naughty but we're not supposed to go out anywhere so do the right thing stay home don't spread anything um, and let's create that's that's the best option I believe so today yes all the um, materials for my stuff in Australia what I'm using is in the drop-down box if you're in the USA um, then I'm told Amazon has got fantastic supply at the moment of um, everything Montmartre or whatever I use I'm using Montmartre paints today so this is I've pre-mixed a navy into this container so I use all my old containers uh, this it was the uh, the craft glue that I use as a pouring medium which comes like this 70 30 I've got the recipe in the drop down box under there if you want to have a look at it for those that are maybe only just joining my channel or to remind the faithfuls that that's where I keep the pouring medium recipe and um, yeah and the list to my suppliers and a, and a description of how I put my paints together I have a link under there too of um, beginners videos so if you're only just venturing into this because you're you're at home and you would like a really good pastime enjoyable one and very th therapeutic then this is the um, definitely a art that you should have a go at and no excuse now because you can get all your materials online so 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 well there you go so that's the navy on the bottom I just want to do some really bright and uplifting colours in these Montmarts. So here we go. These hot pink. So they've got no, um, nothing added in these. I'm just pouring them directly from the bottle, squeezing them. Just got a bit of ugh, paint stuck on the top. So I'm going to try doing my... normal craziness so it's like bright and this one is called yeah just hot pink hot pink okay oh got a bitchy nose what's that mean a surprise oh gosh i hope it's a nice one <laughs> and this is the just pink 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 uh, i'm giving them a good shape they're very highly pigmented paints a small amount goes a long way so um, don't, yeah, don't go too crazy with them because yeah, a small amount does go a long way. That one, sunsetty colours. Okay, I'll go the coral. 
If you're not liking pinks, obviously there's lots of other colours, but uh, a really nice gift to give in pinks, like for my granddaughter, she's... Or did I just use that one? I must have. Is that the same? Oh no, it's not going crazy. Yeah, it can send us all a bit stir crazy what's happening, but you know, it's happening to us all, so we're all in this together. That, this one is the Cadminium Red. So this is going to change the whole look of the thing. It's hopefully send it like a sunsetty colours. So remember you haven't got to do anything with this. You've just got to pour away. So you haven't got to get stressed out thinking, oh, I've got to mix paints and got to get it right. I'm going to use just a bit of bright, bright yellow in here some spots okay let's do that one for now should I stick one little bit of a dark color in there which I'll go with where's my ultramarine blue a little bit just a little bit and I'm gonna ooh, So if that's not bright and uplifting, it's like a, it's like an ice cream parlor. There you go. So I'm just going to give it a gentle tilt. So the coat that I put on the bottom was just a cup I had previously made up, and it was the Montmartre Studio acrylic, and it was actually pre-made up because I did a swipe. Um, with Floetrol. So I don't normally mix my paints with Floetrol at all, but I was doing the previous one, I was doing the Kathleen Osmore swipe, trying to get Kathleen's and she uses Floetrol and no silicone. So I thought, give it a go, give it a go. So, so, where am I going now? Um, would I swipe with the white, I think, or should I give it a darker oh might go let me just see this very end I have some of the dark blue dark navy made up I'm just going to do this very end and see what it looks like in the dark navy swipe see how we come out with that one I just think the dark phalo blue over all those pinks and reds might be nice right. oh not sure not sure do I just keep with the black or this navy colour that I let me see this ending oh, I haven't got enough whoop okay give it a try Sure, you'll let me know what you think was the better side. I think the navy actually than the phalo is going to do the trick a little bit better. I have hardly got any left in there. Ugh. Well, let's go over you again. Okay, I might go over the whole lot like this. Nice and easy easy peasy so I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and staying with me and uh, and if you haven't subscribed please do so it costs you absolutely nothing uh, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video comes up because I am always trying new things some don't work some do but I try and I'll show you uh, tips and tricks of how to get out of problems when you do um, face them okay let's give this it looks all dark and mysterious but I've got a little trick up my sleeve that's gonna bring this out a bit better I believe I believe it's my lovely heat one I love it so much really love it 
does the same job as a torch but a lot safer it doesn't it's not a it's not a hair dryer or a heat gun it's a um, heat embossing wand used so it, it's not the like industrial that you get a heat gun from from a hardware store that like my husband had used in the garage for heating up pipes and that heats very very high temperature that isn't it is this little beauty here because I had to get a new one because I tread on it so the maximum temperature is 350 degrees centigrade and I think those heat guns like Beal hot enough to uh, warm up pipes to bend so you don't need you would just burn your paint so this little heat gun I got mine from Capriol Shabby Chic the um, <coughs> excuse me website is in the drop down box to move my paints over now so I am absolutely going to use my balloon for some balloon rolling I might have to leave the paint for a little while but because it doesn't really look anything it just looks like a rainy stormy rainy day but I have done this one before and the colors that usually pop up are let's go well, that's not too exciting I think I haven't pressed far enough let's go it again that's better need to bring some colour up from down here and take it up to the top. So I'm kind of going to do this halo thing I think. Yep. Yeah the colours are not coming up oh, they, like I've had them come up before. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe because I use the flow troll in the base colour, which I've not done before. It's caused it to react differently. But I might just keep going with the balloon. and bring in some of these colours up they're all under there we know that but I just didn't want to actually balloon the whole of the work I wanted to just kind of do a halo around it but you know plans change if you're not getting the results that you thought you would get I could have played safe and done the same old thing over and over again but I always try different things so that's how I want my channel to be. I just want to try different things. I don't want to do same old, same old all the time. Even though I use a balloon a lot, I do it in a lot of different um, techniques. It's not just the one technique. I try it with everything. And it brings up a different result every time. I like it with that. It's like it's framed. Yeah, the colours look at there, so I think that I may have to let it dry off a little bit. But, it's a bit dark, but it is a very good candidate for my son to embellish with something nice. So, let me know what you think, be kind, um, don't want any negative comments, thanks, if you've only got negative comments. I'm not going to listen to them and I will block you because I don't want that in my life at the moment so um, I don't want other people reading negative stuff that some nasty people feel that they have to put out there. I've noticed a lot of artists in the last couple of weeks are getting really some negative comments and it's obviously people are just getting bored and nasty at home and taking it out on the youtubers but never mind it's not going to be tolerated so don't tolerate bullies so thank you guys for joining me wait till the end and i will post the finished um 
when it's dried off a bit, if I come back and try and balloon it after it's dried off and I can get some more of those lovely colours. But it kind of looks like you're looking through this tunnel and the rain at the back. It kind of looks a 3D. So it's not a complete disaster, but it's not one of my best. But there you go. I want you to know that they're not perfect every time. You can keep working it simply scrape it off its only paint but I'm going to work with this one because I definitely think it could be the base for just a simple embellishment that my son does with his airbrush so thank you guys for joining me so bye for now until next time stay safe people and create